To your brothers and sisters in Christ, we receive from the Lord with joyful hearts today the gift of four new deacons for the church. They become ordained sacred ministers through the laying on of hands and the prayer of ordination. And they enter into the official ministry of the church. They will participate in the church's ministry of the word, the ministry of the altar, and the ministry of charity. All of these part of the ministry of salvation that Jesus commissioned his church to do until the end of time. Diaconal ministry is a ministry of service, proclaiming the gospel at mass, preaching at the invitation of the priest, preparing the altar for the sacrifice of the Eucharist, distributing the Lord's body and blood to the faithful, administering baptisms, assisting at and blessing marriages, bringing viaticum to the dying, conducting funeral rites, instructing believers and unbelievers in the church's doctrine, presiding over public prayer, and performing works of charity. It is a ministry of service to which these men are being ordained to assist the bishop and the priests in their ministry. The guiding principle for the deacon's ministry are Jesus' own words, which he used to describe himself. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. The deacon is always thinking, how can I help the bishop and the priests in their ministry? Now, dear sons, you are to be raised to the order of the diaconate. The sacrament of holy orders marks you with an indelible spiritual character, which configures you as deacons to Christ. You are consecrated by the laying on of hands. For such an important office in the church, the apostles themselves laid down important criteria for the diaconate, which we heard in our reading from the Acts of the Apostles, that they must be men of good reputation, filled with wisdom and the Holy Spirit. And in addition to the 12 apostles, St. Paul also wanted deacons to be dignified, not deceitful, not addicted to drink, not greedy for sordid gain. And he demanded that they hold fast to the mystery of faith with a clear conscience. Hold fast to the mystery of faith with a clear conscience. That's why when I place the book of the Gospels in your hands, I will exhort you, believe the gospel. Believe the teaching of Christ and the teaching of the church. Be not ashamed of the gospel. Teach the faith. Teach what you believe and practice it. Serve the Lord faithfully and joyfully, and he will make your ministry fruitful. You will exercise your ministry in the celibate state, even as Jesus did. Celibacy is a sign of pastoral charity, giving you the freedom to lay down your life in love, in service to God and man. And that charitable gift of yourself in pastoral service will be a source of great spiritual fruitfulness in the world. Remain united to Jesus in a most profound way through your prayer every day. And ask the Immaculate Heart of Mary, whose memorial we celebrate today, to make you chaste in your heart and beyond reproach in your conduct. A whole new life opens before you beginning today, the life of an ordained minister of the church. 
you will be changed by the action of the Holy Spirit. You will not leave this church in the same way you came into it. By your faithful service, may you be blessed to hear the Lord say to you on the last day, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord.